Hi, Zach. Hi, Matthias. Uh, I guess first question, Matthias, how, uh, how, how are you feeling? You got a little uh, marked up there. I look a little rough, but um, yeah, got a high stick there late in the last game we played, so that was what it was. Um, nice little gift to go into the summer with, but I feel all right, so it's all good. Uh, I guess close to three months since you got traded here. When you came, you spoke really highly about the, the hockey opportunity, and, and you sort of mentioned living here, family, coming here. You know, about three months later, how are you still feeling? Does do that enthusiasm still there for you? Yeah, 100%. Um, it's, it's been really great for me, obviously, coming off Nashville where we were selling, or at the time we were selling, and uh, to be able at my age come here to a team that is, I mean, we lost in the second round and nobody feels good about anything. Um, the way that happened, everyone expects to win. Everybody thinks we should win. We have a team here that is capable of doing it. Uh, we obviously fell short, but to me, that's that's awesome and it's really exciting. And, and uh, that opportunity is something that I, I will cherish this summer and, and work even harder on on my game and come back this this fall to, to, to be able to compete even harder. I think we, we have what it takes in the room. It's just a matter of getting it out. And, and Zach, uh, you know, obviously you were here last year. You guys went to the West Final. I mean, I know being close isn't what you guys want to get. You, you want to get to the top. How, how, what are a couple of key things that you think you need or need to execute to make those final two, two steps or whatever it is? Yeah, I mean, um, obviously, tough finish like I think everybody in, in the in the room you know we thought we had the team to win to win a cup right and and I think you know we played against a, obviously a really good Vegas team um, and I think you just take lessons from from it right they're just little things you know throughout a series that uh, you know you can't beat yourself over right I think there are times in that series where we gave them opportunities and and those are the differences in, in a tight series. Uh, Zach, you played all the games, but you missed some practices. Can you tell us what you what was wrong with your body? You couldn't take practice. Yeah, um, I don't want to get into it too much. Just uh, you know, it's a playoffs. You get you get banged up, and um, so it was. Uh, yeah, it was getting better as the series went on, I would say, and it was felt good in uh, in in game six there, and yeah, it's just uh, it's part of the the playoffs. And Matthias, you're pairing with Bouchard. What do you think you brought to the table to help Bouchard in your time here? I mean, it's a really good question. I have I have no idea what he I mean experienced before I got here, but um, I think. Obviously, I, I try to be a steady um, presence for him, knowing that he can play his game. Um, obviously, he needs to play offensively, and he needs to play really close to the edge of where turnovers and, and maybe as uh, the general public would, would look at weak plays or, or risky plays, so to speak. But if he doesn't do them, then I don't think he should be maybe in the lineup even because that's his game, and that's what he needs to do to, to do it. And I think from day one since I got here. He has just been taking steps himself, and, and I, I, it's nothing that I've talked to him or said anything. He's just a young player, and I think, again, when I got here, he was just scratching the surface, and you could really tell that he just needs to be put in the right direction, and, and he's going to take off. And you, you guys all saw his coming out party this playoffs too, where he, I mean, he was a force on the back end for us, especially on that power play unit, so. Um, it's been great playing with him. I think he's a great guy, and, and he's a lot of fun, a lot of fun to be around. So it's it's been it's been a, a great partnership so far. Uh, Matthias, you've been on some long playoff runs when you were in Nashville. Now that you finished your first uh, run here with the Oilers, how would you compare the mindsets of the two teams, and how far, or how close do you think this team is to being in a Stanley Cup Finals? Yeah, as I said earlier, I think we're really close. I think it's it's. If you compare the two, I think it's a lot different because in Nashville we had somewhat of a, a, a top four defense that we kind of built it around here. It's you have two of the best players in the world up front that you kind of build it around. And 
Um, I mean, you've been talking or we've been talking of after what, what happened here. We know we played a good team in Vegas and, and um, that obviously is no fun to, to lose against. But at, at times I feel like we can be better as a team, maybe not winning. Like it, it sounds weird. We have to win the games, but at times you, you don't have just not lose. Like you, you got to find a way where you, where you win one nothing, two one, whatever. You just hold on to a game and win it because in this series, I felt like the games we won, we had to score four or five, or we did, and and we held them off. But at times, and and that's what coming back to Nashville, there it was more a mindset of okay, let's we, if we get two three chances to score, we got to capitalize. But other than that, just play good defense and, and trying to keep them on the outside and not have them score. So it's it's obviously a different way of approaching it, but I also think this what this team has is something that you you can't just go out and find it i, I think a, a good structures defensively that's something you can work on and, and get better on as a team and i think you will. but finding the top two players in the world you don't just go around the corner and find them and we have them so i think it's a great opportunity i think this team as i've ever been Zach, just over here, um, Connor and Leon were both talking about kind of the uh, the importance of obviously trying to win, that there's a, a, a finite timeline potentially. Um, you're somebody who signed here for a long time. Do you, do you sense kind of the, you know, you've been to two playoff runs now, kind of the urgency of, of trying to get it done in the next couple of years or that? That's... Yeah, I think, uh, you know, teams talk about the window, right? And if you look at our team, you know, we had a really, really good team this year, especially in the second half. I think we had the best record in the league. We finished the year off with, you know, 14 wins out of 15. And the only one we lost was in overtime and, you know, obviously, you know, beat the Kings and then lost to Vegas. So, you know, we have a really good team and we're returning the majority of our core, right? I mean, so with that being said, there's a there's an opportunity, obviously, to to win and and it didn't matter, you know, if we lost in the third round or the finals, the same feeling you would have had, the same feeling just because this team is, is you know, either we're going to win or we're going to feel like this. And, and that's that's the opportunity that we have. And, and uh, you know, we have our, I think, you know, we have our guys signed for another two years. I think, the, the you know, Leon signed for another two years or whatever the case may be. If you look at the contracts, you know, all, all the core guys are, are signed up and, and the, the young guys who aren't are restricted. So um, just a, a massive opportunity to, to get better, like Aki said, to get better over the summer. And, and I think we have to do a better job of setting ourselves up as well and, and taking advantage of the regular season and not just being a second half team. Um, Matias, you, you know, you haven't been here for for that long, but Connor and Leon also talked about kind of the culture that was set here. What do you make of this culture so far? I, I think it's it's great. I think guys in here, you can tell from a management level all the way down to the locker room where people expect to win and think they, they cherish that this team is set to win right now. And I don't, honestly, I, I don't, I'm not just saying that, but there's been, since I got traded here, um, obviously when you get traded, you never know where, it's not in your control, but I wouldn't change this to go to any other team in the league than to stay here right now, and that I stand behind that 100%. I th everybody in this team just bleeds to win, and, and that's something that's really awesome to, to be a part of, especially at the point of my career where, I mean, I, I know I'm, I'm 33 here in a couple of days, and uh, I'm not getting any younger, but um, I still think I, I have a lot left in me, and, and the hunger is still there. I haven't won yet. To me, I think the culture is, is great. I think that everybody says the right things. Everybody does the right things. It's just a matter of getting everything together. And, and again, we played a really good team in the second round, but I also think we're a really good team, and we just got to make sure we get those margins uh, on our side. Zach, the power play was good from the start of the season through the playoffs as well. What do you have to do a little better five on five in the playoffs? Yeah, um, things are tight in the playoffs. Like that's just the reality of of the playoffs. I think where a lot of goals are scored on five on five is just from simple plays. Like if you look at the goals that Vegas scored against us, 
say the majority were just point shots that got through. There was a rebound, and they were able to find the rebound, right? I think March still scored two in the in, in game six, just like that. And there was a handful in previous games. So I, I mean, we're we're a team that has probably the most talent in the league and can score in a variety of different ways. Um, and sometimes you just have to simplify it and, and find ways to, to score, you know, greasy goals, dirty goals, and things like that. So I think we could probably do a better job of that. But, um, yeah, I mean, having said that, obviously special teams is a huge part of that. And, and you know, you got to get goals everywhere. And I, and I think, you know, a lot, of, a lot has been made of, you know, us being a, a top-heavy team with elite talent and whatnot. But I thought that... Uh, our depth kind of shined through throughout the playoffs. We had contributions all throughout the lineup, so it wasn't from a lack of scoring from, you know, guys not named Connor and Leon. Like, I thought that guys um, in the bottom half of the lineup, you know, produced. And one last question. The fan, of course, always thinks their team is better than every other team. But in the playoffs, as Matias said, is there such a fine line between teams that are now playing and teams that are out in the first round? Yeah, um, I think what Matias said about, you know, you don't have to go out there and necessarily outscore the opponent every time. I think that the teams that are still playing won games that they probably shouldn't have won. They're able to hold on to games. They're able to, to win those tight games, right? And I think, uh, you know, that's something that we can take. You know, you're not going to have your best every night, but you have to be able to find a way to win. and and take advantage of the other team's mistakes. I think that's um, that's what the teams that are left have done, right? They don't have to be the best teams. You know, Florida knocked off Boston and then knocked off Toronto and they're playing, right? Like, you don't have to be the best team. You just have to, you know, you shouldn't say that. You don't have to be the best. You don't have to have the best players. You have to be the best team. And you have to be able to win games and find ways to win even though even if you shouldn't win them. Zach, just over here. Um, you look at the history of the teams that have won the Stanley Cup, and, and they were always knocking at the door. They come and knock, knocking at the door, knocking at the door, and eventually they break. Do you sense that this is where this group is at now, that you guys can keep knocking at this door? And, and you need some luck. You need some bounces. You need things to go your way when the, when the margins are that fine. But is this where this team is now, and, and what can you take away from this loss, um, you know, this, this coming up short this year? Yeah. I mean, going into next year, I think everybody's mindset should be you know, we're winning the Stanley Cup or it's a failure of a season. Like, that's like that's the reality of the window that we're talking about. Like, um, there's no consolation prize. We're not going to feel any better. Like, we have, this is the worst I felt after a, a loss in my career. And it's, you know, it's not going to get better right, until you win. So there's no excuses. We're turning the majority of our team you know, management's going to do what, what management thinks they need to do to make our team better. And that's the mindset going into next year. Matias, just a question in a similar vein as DVD there. What is the biggest lesson and takeaway for, for you personally that you hope to apply to this team, to this city, in future playoff runs moving forward? That's a, a broad question, but um, if we're talking on ice stuff, I, th I think the, the thing that we talked about here about not having to outscore the opponent by a huge margin every night to win in the playoffs, because that's so hard every night to do it. You, hopefully I can <clears throat> help out with the defensive side of things and um, having a training camp and, and just to come in and, and, and learn everything from, from I guess, um, the groundbreaking moment of a, of a season and, and, and keep going throughout and, and build it, so to speak. But at the same time, the things like this year as well, I mean, you look at the, as we said, that we lost one game in overtime the last 15. That's exactly what you want to do coming down the stretch. You want to get hot at the right time. It's hard to be a hot team for 82 games. It's, it's really hard. So um, I think when it comes... Uh, to the playoff time and, and what I can bring. I, I think that that is something that I'll, I'll f hopefully be able to focus on and, and we can um, learn from this year that we're going to have to be okay with a 0-0 game going into a third. Um, 
hopefully that doesn't happen because we have a great power play, so they usually get a goal or two. But um, to be able to, to just make it a little bit harder on the opposition to, to earn their goals, so to speak.